Uh, in this lecture, we'll be starting with this new topic of couple moment. This is an extension of the previous topic in which we learned about moment. What is the moment of force? And we also learned the sign conventions. Here, the this is a special type of uh, moment forming force, which is called as couple moment. So the definition is two parallel forces equal in magnitude and opposite in direction and separated by a definite distance are said to form a couple. So the words that are important here are parallel forces. They need to be parallel to each other. They need to have equal magnitude and the direction is should be opposite to each other. Okay. And they are separated by a definite distance. So they are not coinciding with each other. Neither they are concurrent to each other. That is very important. So the way how we can show couple force here is one force, both are parallel to each other. One force acting in the downward direction, one force acting in the upward direction. Not necessarily that this has to be downwards. This can be upwards. Then this, the other force has to be downwards. Just the magnitude is same. The directions are opposite and they are separated by a definite distance. Now this is called as a couple. There are few properties of couple that we'll be seeing now. Let us say that I want to find moment at this point A due to this couple. So what we had learned previously in the previous lecture was that anti-clockwise moment is positive and clockwise moment is negative. This is the sign convention that I follow. It is based on the right hand thumb rule sign convention. And you will also find this in many international authors or authors textbook, right? Okay, so if I need to find the moment at point A, then let us consider uh, the distance from this first force to be D1 and the distance from this second force to be D2. Okay, and what can we say about this D? D is equal to D2 minus D1, right? So MA will be minus F into D1 because this force which is acting downwards if I pin this point A, if I keep this point A as the center of my rotation, then this force F will go like this in clockwise direction. So we can say that the moment that is formed due to this force would be clockwise and hence it is negative according to the sign convention. Therefore minus F into D1, D1 is the perpendicular distance from the line of action of this force. That is the basic definition of the moment. That is the magnitude of the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance from the point to the line of action of the force. Okay. This plus F into D2. So F is acting up above upwards. So if we take, if we see that how this force is going to rotate about this point A, it will be like this. It will rotate like this about this point A, if we keep this point A as the center, then it is going to rotate in anti-clockwise manner. And hence we can say that the sign convention for second force F is positive F into D2. How we can further simplify this is we can take F common and I can write it as D2 minus D1, but D2 minus D1, we already know that it is equal to D. So I can say that the moment at point A is equal to F into D. That is the force of the couple, the magnitude of the couple multiplied by the distance that is separating the couple. Okay. Let us take one more point and uh, let me find the moment at this point now. So moment at point B due to couple. What I can say, let us say, let us first identify the distances. So D3 is the distance from this first force F and D4 is the distance from second force F. So this D can be written as D3 minus D4, right? Now at point B, if you see this first force F, it is going, if, if I pin this point B and if I make it as the center of the rotation, for this force, then this force will rotate like this about about this center point. Okay, so it is an anti-clockwise rotation. Therefore, it is plus F into D3 minus if I say this force, 
it will be a clockwise rotation about this point okay it, is, it will rotate clockwise therefore it is negative f into d4 what I can say is f into d3 minus d4 which again gives me f into d okay so you see that in both the cases when I took the moment at point A I got the value to be f into t when I took the moment at point B I again got the moment value to be f into t that is the force the magnitude of the couple multiplied by the definite distance that is separating the couple so what we can say from this is we have certain conclusions or certain important points to remember now that moment due to couple force is only dependent on distance by which they are separated and no other distance so you can see that moment at any point we are getting by uh, multiplying the force by the distance that they are separated and not by any other distance okay I don't need any other distance I only need to know what is the distance that is separating them right this is the first point second point is that we can say that moment you to couple at any point remains same so first I took at point A I got the moment to be f into d then I took at point B I again got the moment to be f into d so I can say that if I take at any other point on this beam or on this structure then I am going to get the same value of the couple so a very very important point here next what we can say is that next point if let us say like uh, if this force okay if this force will cause this structure to move downwards okay in down direction then this force which is same in magnitude will cause the structure to move again upwards is it not so what we can say from this is that the translational effect of a couple force in any direction is zero so what happened here what just happened here this force tried to take this structure down this force prevented it to take uh, taking it from downwards so what happened the structure remained at the same position therefore the translational act action the translational means the movement of this structure in x y or z direction that becomes zero due to couple applied because couple will always be having same magnitude plus they will always be in the opposite direction so it cannot move translationally that is fixed so again one more important point about couple next point the effect of couple remains the same even if it is replaced by another set of couple force having same rotational effect so the effect of this couple will remain same even if I replace it by a force of magnitude 5 but separated by a distance of 4 right so let's say what what would be the moment due to this couple it is 10 into 2 that is f into d is it not then uh, what would be the moment due to this couple 5 into 4 which is again 20 this is also 20 so both are having the same effect that is the fourth point that the effect of couple remains the same even if it gets replaced by another set of couple force having same rotational effect all right now a very important point ma what it, what will be ma if uh, now i have given this uh, uh, some magnitude like 10 newton and separated by a 2 meter distance so the moment at a we know that it is going to be f into d right if, if you want to calculate it with the sign and all so that also you can do so it is going to be 10 into 2 which is 20 newton meters all right and uh, the why i why i am directly taking it to be positive like this is a moment right and a moment should have sign either positive or negative so how do i know that this is positive because you see that this force which is going down and this force which is going up it is going to produce a rotation of anti-clockwise manner see see this force going down this force going up consider a circle 
in which you were uh you have tied this circle at its two diametrically opposite points in one side you are pulling it downwards on the other side you are pulling it upwards how is this circle going to rotate will it not rotate anti clockwise right so that's why uh, th that is how we can uh, determine the sign of a couple whether it is going to be positive or negative so in this case it is positive because i have shown here the anti clockwise couple again mb will be equal to 10 into 2 which is again 20 newton meters right this this much we know that at any point the value is going to remain the same what if i replace this couple not by some set of forces but by a concentrated moment loading because of this concentrated moment loading what is going to be the moment at a and what is going to be the moment at b how to determine that see since till now in engineering mechanics we have not come across a concentrated moment loading and neither we have learned how to find moment because of that concentrated moment loading this is the point where we are, we are going to learn about that okay so this couple see if i bring it a little bit downwards and as i already told you that this has the capability of rotating isn't it this has the capability of rotating something so it, is it not rotating in uh, anti clockwise manner and the value of the moment that this couple produces that is 20 newton meters and it is rotating in anti clockwise manner same thing i have shown here instead of couple i have put a moment of anti clockwise manner with the magnitude of 20 newton meters what i can say from this is that a concentrated moment loading and a couple having same rotational effect and having same magnitude of moment is equal okay so see this is also going to rotate anti clockwise this is also going to rotate anti clockwise this also have has the magnitude of moment as 20 newton meter this also has the magnitude of moment as 20 newton meters so a very important conclusion we can make that a couple can be represented as a concentrated moment a concentrated moment can be represented as a couple so in either directions it is possible therefore both are equal to each other right and whatever properties of couple that we had studied that uh, it it has uh, the effect of this couple will remain the same throughout the length of the beam the same will be applied to this concentrated moment also that if this couple is going to have a moment at a s 20 newton meters and moment at b s 20 newton meters this concentrated moment will also have moment at a s 20 newton meters and moment as b s 20 newton meters okay so this is the same thing that what i have told that any concentrated moment loading on a structure can be represented as a couple force and vice versa that is from moment you can represent it as a couple also from this we understand that a concentrated moment also will be independent of the distance at which moment is being considered therefore this moment value it is also independent of at what distance it is all right it does not matter at whatever distance this moment is there the moment at a due to this will be 20 newton meters only and the sign is obviously if this is anti clockwise the sign is going to be positive and moment at b the value of moment will be same at any other point as same as couple therefore mb is also going to be equal to 20 newton meters okay so that's it for this